Okay. Wow. So close to Friday, man. Uh, today is uh, June 17, year 2020. And two more days will be uh, phase two. Yeah. So what do you want to talk about today, Casey? Um, I do not know. Um... Money, uh, you want to do the, the word generator thing <laughs> and see what pops out. You never know. Okay, I'll go for the questions, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what recent experience made you feel old? What, what? What recent experience? Oh my gosh. Make you, makes you feel old. Okay. So let me start talking first, okay? <laughs> I always want to talk. Okay, let me clean my fingers, yeah. Okay, got you. Now, uh, you see, um, sometime in in uh, in January uh, uh, this year, my mom has been uh, staying alone by herself. She is about eighty nine, ninety, you know, uh, yeah. by herself, uh, able to walk still, goes to the market, get her simple fish and meat, and and cook his, her meal every day doesn't have a mate and she does a morning exercise with some of her walking khakis in the morning and then the, her backbone becomes painful mm. so I took her to a specialist and the specialist says uh, the orthopedic uh, says mm. that oh because of osteoporosis the bones are degenerating yeah yeah I'm not, right? sitting yeah. on the nerves and is hurting her so um, my younger sister was nice to uh, kind of take her to her home near my home also in Yishun and since then in January until now she's staying in Yishun with my sister and periodically I visit her la. these three six months uh, six months way these six months uh, the things that is hanging over my head is about afraid of growing old and your question when you did the random search um, you know uh, talk about the experience of making us grow old right yeah. i say my god it's really frightening casey yeah. um i've seen my dad from walking to slowing down to wheelchair to bed ridden to tube feeding tube feeding that's not the life i want you know if i have a choice to choose you know i want to die like a sudden heart attack and that's it uh, don't, don't, don't paralyze me don't, don't put me on bed don't put me on uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, supporting equipments to, to keep me going. Uh, I just want to go, all right? So, growing old is really frightening. And it's a journey that I have seen from generation as a kid, all right, to my dad, to my mom now. My day will come, all right? That, that is a fact. The day will come that I will grow old. But I don't want the day whereby I cannot walk and I need someone to help me, all right, to do my business, to shower or to feed me. I, I just cannot bear the, uh, that kind of lifestyle. So um, this COVID has not much impact on me growing old, uh, but just growing old itself uh, we don't need an impact upon us to, to grow old but the fact of growing old is is okay is it, uh is natural but uh, not able to take care of myself when i'm old that that is a question yeah um 
we 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 always tell ourselves okay if that is a case then we should be taking care of ourselves now uh stay healthy stay you know right. and of course of course i mean that that that, that is everybody have that thought you know we don't need you know uh, an expert to tell us we know that yeah. we we know that if we take care of ourselves now most likely we would not need anyone to take care of us when we grow old yeah. why right? yeah but yet again the you know uh, michael being michael you know knowing the fact is like just a smoker smoker still smokes even though they know it causes cancer um so that that part of the head the, the 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 thinking have to have to change and the change will only come where there's a strong motivation the motivation is so strong you know then there's a change right so that question now leads to motivation you know right so uh, and motivation is tough lah i mean people find very hard to to sustain a motivation because after a while it's like oh it go back down you attend a motivational talk after you know on that day you left the workshop it's like wow you feel great you know but after a while oh my gosh you know life goes back to uh, ground zero you know uh, so so that 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 growing old part is something that has been in my mind until today uh looking at my mom reflecting on my dad's uh, experience you know when i was uh, probably in primary 6 i think kc or mm. sec 1 in my old estate i was taking the old bus. those days the bus is like just aluminum panel very old with red lines on it i do not know if you remember not the air con type yeah yeah and i was sitting in the bus at the bus depot uh on the way to school it's either primary 6 or sec 1 and um i saw my uncle waiting for a different bus i was sitting by the window near the bus stop and my uncle my dad's elder brother of course he was very young then right Right. So he was standing waiting for bus. So I wave at him and he waved back. And then he passed me like a 10 cents, you know, like a coin, you know, like like a pocket money. Um I was grateful. All right. That scene has a very profound impact on me when I think about growing old. So when I think about growing old, this image will comes to my mind first. and i was young and i never know that i would grow up to be my uncle's age you know and fast forward the story the last few weeks before his death i visited him mm. uh, he has one of his right legs amputated because of diabetes mm. and i saw him as like wow When I was like sec one, I saw him, and fast forward now he's like in his late seventies or eighties, I think. I I don't know what age he passed off. He's like, wow, this is growing old, you know. So that image of my uncle losing his legs, and somebody supported him, and then fast forward becomes my dad's turn, you know. Oh, my dad now need a mate to take care of, and then fast forward again. Now is my mom, you know. So it's like the 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 the, the thought of when am I be the next one, you know, uh, to continue that story, you know. So it it is it is a, a scary thing. It is a scary thing. Yeah. I, so I, I have to say, I will share with you the same thing, though. I mean, the the fact about when my when my dad came and my parents came and stayed with me. Ah, okay. You know that right. that moment of time where where I actually told Sally, our uh, life have become so um, vulnerable, and uh, uh, I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of growing old. Yeah, uh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I right. can face death, but I can't All face right. growing old. Right. I feel I feel uh I feel very hopeless for my death. Hopeless as in. Uh, uh, you know, in Mandarin, it's called you wait to die. Ah, uh, uh, no, right. You know, there's right. a 
Right, right. Uh, you know, like like every day you wake up, you eat. You know, my my dad came to me uh walking slowly. Right. To walk by himself, so he's still very stubborn. Want to walk to the coffee shop. Want to walk right. back. My mom had to be patiently looking at him. Then later, when he have a few falls, ah. then we convince him to sit on a wheelchair. Right. Mm. I I realize it's a wrong thing. Once he sit, he don't stand up anymore. But he couldn't stand, right? He can, because、oh, he, he can. Yeah. All right. So we should have a maid looking after him. Let him walk. The longer you walk, so once you sit down, your body all stops. Your legs don't move anymore. Right. Right.、So From walking to sitting to lying down, so I when looking at that, every day he wakes up, he eat, he shit, he shower.、Right. Then one day that he can't move anymore, people shower him. You know that 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 process. Okay. All right. Okay. You know. All right. So All right. when I was looking at that, right. Right. Of course, for my dad, I feel I feel blessed for him because he don't suffer major illnesses. Right. Okay. See, All right. Okay. Like, but when I look at it, it's like I I do not know, you know. I I、right. do I want do I want that? Yeah, I did ask that kind of questions. Right, right, right. I told、right. I told. Do I? I'm not sure. Michael, do you talk about uh? Do you talk about death with your wife? Uh, sometimes, but not in depth.、Okay. In in depth, not we don't go deep and talk about an hour. Sometimes it's just a passing thought, you know. Right. Yeah. But、uh, I share the same experience as、uh, you had. Right. I I I want to share with you. I I talk about death with、uh, my wife. Okay. Yeah. I I I would. I also even tell him tell her that I get very fed up with people with.、Uh, um, I think I remember telling you、uh, when I was in hospital doing my kidney surgery. I have friends that, wow.、Well, I I I call my some of my friends which I don't call them now. I say let's have let's have coffee. I say ah yeah, wait you come out then we have coffee lah. You'll be okay one, you know.、Right. Or I go hospital and visit you.、Mm. Then I was like, when I'm alive and well, you don't go and visit me. And when I'm dying in hospital, you can't visit me. Oh, that's crap, you know. Correct. So, so you can see how people, uh, perceive friendship. So、right. anyway, so I I would say that I I I don't want funeral. I don't want. I don't want a a graveyard. I don't want a a a place that you hold my ashes. Okay. My ash、right. will be in the sea. All right. In the bin. In All the right. Toilet bowl. I don't care. Flush it. Flush it. Flush it away. <laughs> yeah. I I I actually really don't care.、Mm. I don't want a place where, uh, uh, when I die, my wife had to look at my face every day on the wall. No, I do not want that. Move、oh. on. Yeah, or or during March have to go to Qingming with yeah, the、no、crowd,、need. with the you、yeah. know the the heat and、no、you know right. Mm, mm,、uh, mm. Yeah, if if you want to、uh, spend three hundred dollars to buy those things to offer to that stupid picture, right? Yeah, spend that three hundred dollars go for a good meal with the family.、Yeah. See, that's、yeah. where that's where we talk about the death book. Remember, we have the Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The death, the idea of the death book, you know, right? Yeah. So I I don't want I know I I really do yeah want, yeah、uh, I think yeah、mm-hmm. I I、mm-hmm. told her if you want to respect me just throw my ash into the sea, you know,、right. yeah if if you think that、uh, you hate me just flush in the toilets you know I don't give a shit but don't keep it, don't、okay. keep it.、All、so、right. so we talk about this and also we talk about one important point that is which I'm gonna share with you. I I told her and she she agrees with me. If anything happened to me that I'm lying on a bed, I can't move. Doctor say no hope. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The reason why I told her that is because, ah,、uh, I will say this to you, and I will do it if you are like that. First, I don't want to burden you. If I do not know whether, for example, like like I I'm lying down, you come and see me. Okay. Right. Like you, 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 you give me that bloody sad face looking at me. I can see you. I can't move. I can't talk. Do you think I feel better? <laughs> I'm not gonna wake up. I can't. Okay. Say, I can wake up now. I'm gonna、yeah. fuck you. And it's okay. Gonna... All right, Casey. I I remember. I remember. The day will come when I visit you. I'll bring this. <laughs> right, like that, like that. 
Eh, hey, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> just, just don't cut my dick. <laughs> so, so you see, Michael, it's, it's, a, it's a very fragile statement where, where my wife say, okay. I say, I know it's difficult. It's not going to be easy for anybody to do that. But yeah. you see, my second point is this. Why do you need to suffer when you are living, when I'm not living? You know, people around me will be suffering. I told her, if, if I'm in, a, if I'm in a, a, a stage, put me in a home, put me in, in a hospital care, you know, don't, don't put me at home. Okay. People at home are living. You do not need to, to uh, 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 suffer, is the word, you know. To, see, feelings, to uh, okay, see, fi- no, no, no two people feel the same level of love, oh. even though they love each other a lot. Uh, Romeo and Julia and what have you. I really take a, a couple, a perfect couple like Romeo and Julia. They, they love each other a lot and they are willing to die for each other. They, a, a perfect couple, let's say. All right. But their level of love is very different. And not just different, but the level, the, the, the way they see love is very different. So you, you see love as in, yeah, you know, um, uh, Sally, you know, put a plug. I don't want to see you burden uh, to live to live my life and you are losing the part of your the other half of your own life you know right um back to my mom's story um i i because my mom is staying with my younger sister right so i told her her name is sue right? i said hey uh, i asked her hey sue what if instead of paying the mate uh, I don't know, uh, $800 plus levy, right? maybe $1,000. I don't know how much a maid is. Taking care of mom, all right? Why don't we withdraw from mom's account? Moms have some savings and pay you probably three, four $4,000 a month. So you don't have to go to work, all right? Uh, to match that salary, lah, basically. And you take care of mom. Uh, a good sounding bad idea. I thought it was a great idea. But uh, she says, hey, Michael, uh, it's not that easy to take care of mom. And if I chose that route, it's not the money. Uh, I won't even want to do it for $10,000 because you truly do not have uh, your own personal life anymore. It's a full time, you know, even though the old folks is not doing much. Man, you have to stay with them, all right? Afraid that they'll fall. You have to stay with them because any moment they would go to the toilet to pee, to poo, uh, a sip of water is a really yeah. twenty-four. Well, other than sleeping time, it's twenty-four-seven. All right. Yeah. So she she is still young, so she wants to live a life. I understood. I said, oh, I see. You know. So I so my idea was a good sounding bad idea, right? Correct. Yeah. Mom has some savings, you know, um, will last her for a few more years. Then pay a sibling $10,000 a month, no problem. But nobody in the family would want to do it because you have no life. You make that $10,000, but you don't have a life. So I, I think that that is important, having a life. And then if I were to see my mom or my dad or the way you see your dad, what's the meaning of living, right? Waking up pool, take a shower, sit on the wheelchair and waiting for the next meal and waiting for the next meal and the routine again, the night goes to bed, take a medicine or what, next morning, same thing. So what, what is the point? What is the purpose of living? You know, what's the purpose of living? Uh, but I couldn't get into their head, not until I get to their stage. What really goes through my uncle's mind? What really goes through my dad's mind? What really goes through your dad's mind? Yeah. You know? I'm sure they have feelings. I'm sure they have things that they want to share. Just that he did not share with you. Just that my dad did not share with me. What really go through? To them, is this life? Are they enjoying it? We see it as no, they are not enjoying it. Maybe to them, what is enjoy enjoyment, Casey? I can tell you, right? Their purpose is, ah, I'm sitting on the wheelchair. I pretend to be your dad now. Lah. Oh, I'm sitting on my wheelchair. Oh, I see my son, Casey. I'm very happy for the day. I'm happy for the day. 
and hopefully I can see my grandchildren, you know, coming back from school in a school uniform. Oh, I'm happy every day. Maybe that is their purpose, you know. You see, when we dive deep into their mental stage, uh, that could be their purpose of able to see uh, if my granddaughter Olive is hungry and the maid is not around. At least I can wheel my chair to the kitchen and get her a peanut butter sandwich or something. That is my purpose, you know. I'm waiting for that opportunity, but it, it didn't happen because there's no need to. So they are waiting. They are, they are leaving oh, yeah. that hope of making a peanut butter sandwich. All right. They are putting meanings of, I'm seeing my son coming home from work. So maybe that is their purpose of living. I do not know. This is just a thought, you know. Right? Yeah. yeah. So to us, it's like, oh my gosh, it's, it's so... I mean, so useless. <laughs> they got the wheelchair, you know. So physical is one thing, right? Uh, the psychological is another. Yeah, right. I, I, mm -hmm. I also, uh, like my dad got dementia because of old people, right? Right. And right. and I I uh somehow I'm very thankful to uh, uh, uh <laughs> this this creation from God uh, that old people has dementia. Right. Uh, the reason why is because to me, right, my dad every day wake up smiling. Okay. He All don't right. he, he don't remember what happened yesterday. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm. So to to me, I know I do not know whether he fake it. You know, I do not know. Right, 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 right. I look at him. You know, as in, he smile every day to me. You know, to right. Him, right. Death, right. Last, last breath. You know, and, and right. I I. I I, I felt appreciated, you know, with, with like, uh, you know, of course, the, those people who still can walk, having dementia is actually a very sad thing, you know, you don't remember. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. People who, like my dad, who is bedridden, who have dementia. Right. It's a beautiful thing because... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so isn't it interesting? Yeah. It all links back to whether it's dementia, the purpose of living or a moment of happiness is also psychological, right? Nothing to do with physical. The physical, that not, he doesn't need to move his arm or his feet, you know, right? So it's so important, right? The, 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 the mental stage of a, of a being, huh? right? Of a being, right, all right. So it's, yeah, so anyway, that, that is, that, that is, that, big question mark of when am I next, you know. Uh, man, I tell you, Casey, uh, 10 years just goes by like a blink of an eye, you know, right? Another 10 years goes by. I, I count my birthday. Oh, speaking of that birthday, Casey, that is something that I want to talk to you. In fact, it's a topic today that I want to talk to you. I was having my shower yesterday. How can, you was, think of, uh, how can you think of me when you're having a shower looking at your thing? Yeah, I, I, was, I was saying, hey, why do we need to celebrate for us or for our younger generations or for your daughters or for your son or for your wife, their birthday every year? Uh, cake cutting, sing the song, there might be a gift, there might be an ang pa, whatever it is, pretty normal, pretty, pretty predictable. Okay, your daughter's birthday next coming up or whatever, or the next year or this year, pretty much the same as last year, pretty much, you know, on and on and on and on. Okay, what if, okay, what if, and there's a lot of images going to my head, what if we celebrate, okay, I use you as an example, huh? what if you celebrate your daughter's birthday once every 10 years? Now, the question is, don't have to answer. When that 10 year come to celebrate, do you think you'll be different, more impactful, more memorable? Maybe, maybe. Tends to go higher than same as last year or same as last one. Okay. And then uh, during these 10 years, our home, at least maybe the living room that you have now in your living room, all right, you have a camera that snap a picture every day random all right when you see people you snap all right and then 
play into a movie like a uh, uh, a stop motion, you know, of your daughter. Ten years, you know, snap a picture, you know, furniture change. Today, come back with a uniform, you know, and it's so fast, you know. Uh, she comes back with, uh, you know, I don't know, a boyfriend or whatever, and it's time to celebrate her. Uh, all right, and you ask her, you can stop that that frame and say, hey, you see that day you were playing with your toys, you know, right? What what inspired you to buy the toy? Let her share a happy moment during that birthday. You know what I mean? It's like wow, you know, um, make it meaningful, uh, You know, uh, yeah. also let also share with us, okay, a sad moment you may have, you know. So she may skim through a picture or two and not the whole movie. You know, it, 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 I mean, one day one picture you can calculate lah. Three hundred sixty frames plus three thousand six hundred frames. Hold on, uh, let me do some calculation. Uh. So one frame three three sixty. Frame times ten years, eh? Three six at ten ten years equals yeah, divided by thirty frames stop motion. Hundred and twenty minutes. So it's like a two hour thing. So instead of doing one day, you do one week lah, basically, right? Right? Correct. Because one day next day, not much will change ah. Right. So I think wow, why don't we celebrate? And then all the compounded ten years of your cake ah, make into one damn nice cake, you know. <laughs> you know, rather than another twenty dollar cake, another twenty dollar cake. Imagine ten years of twenty dollars. Hey, your cake can be like five tier cake. You know, is that like, wow? Right. So, so counting life by the tens. All right. I'm turning sixty. How many more tens do I have? One, two. That's a max. You know. Okay. <laughs> See, it's scary. It's scary. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, uh, it's just an idea of uh, celebrating birthday. Lah. So that thought of that camera doing still image or, or you know uh, stop motion image, and then the birthday thing and the growing old thing all kind of a, and then something new came out you know, right? I I right. I do not know uh, when you say the 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 ten years celebration thing right, it's it's interesting because I I met with a, a businessman who is retired right. old right and and and. That's many years ago. Do you do you remember uh the Orange Timbo, the cafe? Oh yes, yes. Yeah. They are gone. Yeah, I yeah. I, I, and, yeah. The the right. yeah. It was there when I spoke to this man. Correct, correct. You know, we uh, met there talk... a few times, uh, right? We, yeah, yeah. Yong Baru. we met there a few times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know the owner, Orange Timbo. Right. 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 So so we we spoke a few uh for a while and uh, and he knows that I like to travel with my family. Mm -hmm. Right. My kids are young, you know. I like to bring them right, out. Right, right. So he said this to me, Michael. He right. said, that, "Casey, don't waste your time." Right. Kids grow up; they don't right. even remember any travels that I brought them. Right. Right. I I smile at him. I I look at him, and I mm -hmm. I smile and I say, "Hey, you know, you are so blessed." Right. You know, you are you're right. very blessed that you are you live up to this age to see your grandchildren. Right. How True. will you True. know? True. How True. will you know I'll live for the next five years? Mm. If I don't do it now, right? What memories will I have for my children and for me? Right. Correct. Correct. See? Mm -hmm. Whether they right. remember or not is another thing. Yeah. So so I I will say the same thing about birthdays. You are perfectly right to think about, uh, make it more, more good. meaningful lah, huh? more meaningful, right, right, and more and memorable as well. With this conversation, I will make all birthday celebration meaningful, and every year will be the meaningful, the ten years meaning. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, I mean ten years is just a figure of speech. You exactly. can do it once every five years or every year. But every year there might be something that the person, the birthday person, must reflect on. You know, uh, share uh, uh, the happiest day. Correct, correct. Uh, and share the saddest day you have. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Yeah. I, I do not know. It's up to you how you want to play it up. To me. Right. To me, growing old, right? Uh. Uh. Besides being fear, is also being very happy. Uh, in a way that I I'm glad that uh, when I wake up every morning, especially this lockdown, you know, 
when you mm. look at it, I, I, I'm glad that I do not have a ridiculous, noi- or angry wife, you know, to, to live with every day. My wife is chill, we are happy, we chat, we talk, we go for a run, you know. Mm. And my, my, my kids are healthy, uh, are fun, are chatty, you know, that kind of thing. So at this age, at, at my, my age, you know, now I'm 49. I am very happy at 49 year old, you know, that Correct, old. correct. Yes. And, yeah. and I, I would love this to go on. But talk about death, no, I, I, I don't look forward to growing old that is dying, no. So do you, do you want to grow old, okay, uh, if, you, if it's beyond your control, you are on a wheelchair, you can't speak, uh, you need to be fed, do you still want to see your daughter coming home from school when you well, are 90 years old? If I, if I have a choice, right? No, uh, right. if I have a choice to leave, I will leave my life at 75. Okay. All uh, right. Okay, at 75, do you still want to do the same thing I just described to you? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. But what, what I meant is if I have a choice, I would like to, uh, like, uh, me and Sally spoke about it before. If you have a choice to choose to die, right? How will you want to die? So that means, okay, let, let's say, let's say you, you, your max is 75. Okay, let's say your max is 75. Okay, so God grant you that wish. 75, you'll be gone. X70, all right, you are on a wheelchair. You cannot move. Somebody have to fetch you. Do you still want to live the last five years to see your daughter coming home and your wife coming home? If I have or do you rather want... No one. So you want to go at 60, is that correct? I wouldn't say 60, la, maybe 69. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. So you still want to see your daughter coming home and your son coming home, or yeah, okay. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, to us, you know, you, you, you do not see your dad's purpose in life. Waking up, <coughs> excuse me, waking up in the morning, doing the same routine, going to the toilet. Somebody have to take care of him. Da da da. And now, okay, what goes through his mind? Maybe what you just described. You know, you bargain for the next four years instead of five years, wanting to see your daughter coming home. You know, wanting to see your wife coming home, wanting to see your son coming home. You see, so that is your that is your purpose. Ah, P- purpose in life does not mean you have to do great things. You know, you have to you don't have to whatever that makes you happy. All right, that 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 is your purpose. That is something that your dad might be looking forward when he sees you coming up from the bedroom or coming back from work you know uh, yeah so he may not have the expression to smile and laugh but maybe mentally psychologically he's happy i do not know that that part is uh, to me is a purpose la, right yeah you know michael interestingly right. right the topic today is what recent experience make you feel old right right uh-huh. let me tell you something that this experience, right? When you just said what you just said, the last sentence, right? That experience really made me feel old. You talk about wisdom, you know. <laughs> so the purpose, ah, the purpose. Yeah, isn't this this website great, right? You know, like I forgot about the URL. What was the URL again? What the I don't know, random word generator or something. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, you you want the URL right? Uh, you have to transfer me five dollars. <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> subscribe. No, no, I got a more powerful one. I have never shared with you yet. The <laughs> one <laughs> I have to pay you ten dollars, right? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, okay. Random word generator, okay. All right. So yeah. So anyway, uh, recent event is yeah. My, that is my recent event. Uh, not not the COVID. The COVID. The look. The COVID don't really uh, impact me so much. Uh, uh, as I say, you know, I've been working from home. Just that I don't feel comfortable not having the chance to socialize in a cafe. Uh, it's part of my life, you know. Uh, eating out is part of my life. Uh, doing the shopping is part. So all those has been uh, taken away from me. That that's all to it. Yeah. Other than that, um, 
nothing has changed. Yeah. So, yeah, oh, interesting topic. I, yeah. I see that you are still inside the uh, Envito. Huh? You went to Envito. Yeah. This morning. Yeah. yeah this yeah, morning, yeah. I I went in and uh, I downloaded some. Uh, do you know why? Do you, do you know how I know it? I know because the folder is there. The folder jumps to the top, lah. Yeah. La. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Yeah, so yeah, uh, those are the uh, final cut template. Not not the greatest, but at least it gets one or two projects done in terms of an emergency. Like, oh, can you do a quick PowerPoint or a not PowerPoint, a quick uh, slideshow in a video format? Uh, you know, I just can kind I, of. Can I ask you? You know, you I think you downloaded a a, a logo. Uh, found a presentation, a video, right? That you can change the logo to uh, logo. Yeah, it's a video. It's a call a video template. Uh, how how they would not that they would animate. They 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 add things to it. You know, it's like uh, a a color circle morph into different colors, and then you place your logo towards the end, and that's it. You know. Yeah, th those are the templates. Uh. Is it easy to, to change? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I have not tried it out. Uh, based on my experience, uh, okay, ba based on my experience, all right, uh, is that uh, I, I think is a file. Uh, take for example, is, is an Illustrator file already done up for you? It's not like a plugin. I did not install plugin, all right? So it's a, it's a ready made video. Of this logo, three color balls, and then your logo comes on the fourth one. Okay, so you drop this lo you drop this file template into your timeline, correct? Then you can click the first one. Okay, you pick the color you want. You no, know, that's simple. Then of course you pick all the three colors. Then the last one is your logo, and then you run it. That's all. Yeah, that's all. So the ability to change color before your logo comes up, or you want to do after it after effects after effects uh, software. Uh, no, no, it's not. Uh, this is Final Cut Pro. It's very different. We are talking about uh, the difference between uh, PageMaker and InDesign. Okay. Uh, it's two different things. Uh, InDesign has plugins, right? But this is an InDesign template. That means a, a layout has done up for you. All you have to do is go in there and change the title. That, that's all. S same thing in video. So you go in there, you change the title, you drop in your own image, right? Now uh, they give you a placeholder and X or what or you know yeah so things like that or you want to change the color bar at the bottom because it's part of the design element yeah so you just make changes to it right so those are those are the video templates yeah my wife got me a bar tongue okay I can have bar tongue later on oh nice correct Sadly don't like bar tongue so we don't have bar tongue at home oh okay uh, the season is coming uh. the season yeah is I know all right so anyway, uh, yeah, growing we 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 talk about growing old. We talk about the state of mind. I think that's yeah. important. Yeah, the state of mind. Yeah, we share some experience. Yeah, very Correct. nice and conversation then, about growing old and and, right. and mindful. It's a privilege to grow old with you. I since you uh in your twenties, right? No, I no no. I came back at about three. 31, I think, yeah. Uh, My early 30s. The, uh. I'm in the 20s. I'm in the very early 20s. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I still have that picture you sent me. In fact, I have the physical photo, you know. I don't know who passed it to me. I don't know whether it's you or somebody. You know, the me, class. Huh? huh? It could be me. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a color photo. I don't know who was a photographer and the person who used a camera. I have no idea who shot it. Uh, somebody must have shot it. Uh, it's a film. And then it's a four R matte finish or what, you know. Um, all, the the whole class was there, and then the, somehow I got a copy. You may have passed to me, so somebody must have passed it to you. I don't know who. All right. Um, and uh, I put it in a graphic book, and tuck it away. I don't know where the graphic book. I don't know which graphic book. There's so many graphic books, right? Yeah. Um, and you have sent me a soft copy. Probably you took it from a phone over the photo and you sent it to me and uh, I still keep that picture. And there was a picture of you and me uh, at your booth. I think you were doing your... Yeah. Your, your dressing up your booth for the graduation show, I think, yeah. So there was a picture captured. Uh, 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 so two pictures of that moment. Uh, yeah, two pictures of that moment, yeah. 
All right. Yeah, it is. As I say, it is a privilege. No doubt, so much uh, nonsense from you, but you know, I forgive you. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what are the nonsense. <laughs> I don't speak nonsense, man. I speak facts. I, I spread word of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want me to put this into record? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a recording mode, right? Oh, did you stop it? Shit. Oh, okay, let me repeat what I've said. Okay, hit record again. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's a very nice chat. You know I, what, Casey? I, um, shortly after you have graduated, uh, from uh, La Salle, and I continued my teaching in La Salle, and that was my last year. I didn't stay in La Salle too long. Uh, didn't quite like teaching, uh, and uh, the reason I'm in there is because I'm still waiting for better opportunities, or better opportunities out there. So the second batch came, you know, second batch. Uh, my next year lah, I won't say second batch, and I was teaching to first year students and also the final year students in the fine arts. All the while, I belong to the the Goodman School, uh, so the, the La Salle in Goodman School, uh, under fine arts. I was hired under fine arts, not by uh, Bernard Tan in the, in the, in the Teluk Kurao School. And uh, the... Uh, that was one of my best moments with one of the fi final year's class. I think I taught only one final year class. And even after the, the their graduation, you know, they invited me to their homes, you know. Uh, I remember uh, there was like a, uh, some Hari Raya or Christmas. I, I have like four or five visits, you know, students, and, and they invited other classmates as well and people that I, I was teaching. Man, they, they were really uh, uh, having fun. Uh, some someone that I can associate with, you know, and I'm sure it's because of some mutual respect, you know. They invited me to their home, you know. So so to me, that is that is really important. That is really important. Uh, I I at a very young age or young designers, all right. I redefine award-winning designers. Uh, I use this as an award, okay? Having students that invited you, respected you, is far more precious than any Oscar award or any design medals that is given to me. That That is not it, all right? That is not it. I mean, the ability to use design, all right, to to bond people, I think that that is where I'm coming from. To to really unite people, to build friendships through design, and not so much on design. Wow, you did a great design. Wow, I did a great. Man, I I think it's another level of what. Uh, forget about those medals that you have on your table. Forget about the president. That's why when I look at this award, it does not mean anything to me. Crazy, those man medals or certificate of achievements, uh, presidential award in Singapore. Um, I don't know, good mark design in Singapore, red dot. Man, that is not important. Importantly is through your design when people respect you, you know, whether it's to teaching, to influencing, to motivating, you know, when a relationship is built upon, right, positive relationship, uh, how do you know people invite you to their homes, people respect you, that, that is, man, that is money that, that cannot buy this kind of what, it is built through years, you know, yeah. it's not like doing one nice logo, in three weeks, put it in, you got an award. Oh, it's a three weeks effort. Mine is a three years effort. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So so to me, that, that kind of award is like much more meaningful than the medals I have. And I have tons of medals behind me. It's on the top. You see the top shelf up there? Right there? Right. Yeah, there's some awards up there. Yeah, so that 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 is important now i mean um you know what you told me is that oh you know uh, you treasure the, the relationship between you and i and we have gone very far back i don't know how many years when was what how many years have you left la salle or graduated from la salle 20 years more than that more than that yeah that, that's how that's how 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 old we are in 20... terms of in terms of our friendship right 20, right. 28 years. Yeah, in terms of our friendship, yeah, it's close to 30, round it up to 30 years, yeah. you know. Yeah, 
maybe maybe when we meet after the COVID nineteen, we should do a celebration and make it meaningful. Yeah. Right? Okay. You you pay for it. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. Provided Yakut, if Yakut go up by ten cents, one ninety, I'm not going. Okay. All right. <laughs> then we will do conference call like that. <laughs> if we still one eighty, I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So I think I think that that is that is um. You know, um, that is amazing, lah. Right? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and and that group of that group of students, I do not know where they are now. Uh, we have no handphones, nothing. Uh, your your junior, your your one year junior, yeah, yeah, one year junior, correct. Yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. It is. It is. Yeah. I I I guess I guess it, it just goes on. You know the. All right. All right. Uh, we just get better, lah. I, I really, I really hope you know. I mean, now that we are talking about old students or ex students uh, that I've taught, I really hope one day I'm able to see them again, you know, by chance, you know, and says, "Hey, you know, how have you been?" Uh, doesn't matter what you do now. A lot of people may have gone on with life and do something very different. Some may have gotten married, becomes a full time housewives. Some may have become, I don't know,、um, you know, stewardess in SIA. I don't know, right?、It's、something very different. Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right.、Mm-hmm. So okay lah.、Mm-hmm. So it's a good chat, right? It is a good chat. The today、yeah. titles will be the the what I text you there. What recent experience made you feel old? Oh, you you text me? Is that correct? No, the the one in the 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 Skype app, Skype chat. Oh 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 yeah yeah、uh, the text is there yeah yeah okay in a video yeah okay lah can all right Casey take care bye bye.